up world special reverb back in the studio patching up with the new make noise spectrophon spectrophon is a collaboration between tom herb sound hack and make noise and it's a dual spectral oscillator that's great for creating new sounds out of sounds that already exist pretty beefy module and it's part oscillator part processor it's great for vocoding additive synthesis and of course spectral processing each side mirrors each other with four outputs per each side. You have an odd and even out, sub and CV follower out, and a sine wave out. And then you also have different modes. You have, of course, the spectral amplitude modulation mode, and you have this spectral array oscillator mode. More on that as soon as we get the patching. And then you have your frequency knobs here. You have a partials knob that actually goes through all of the individual partials of each spectra. And then you have a slide and focus knob that sort of just traverses the whole spectrum and allows you to set fundamental frequencies for each way that you're turning it. All that sounds pretty confusing, but this is all best understood by just patching it. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so here we have a simple drum patch. We got drums coming out of the Mod Bap Trinity, and I'm running it through side A of the Spectrophine, and I have the Spectrophine in spectral amplitude modulation mode. So this is actually taking audio, whatever audio you wanna run in here, you can run in here and modulate one side of this module. So let's hear what it sounds like. If you bring up this partial knobs right here, the partials knob actually controls the current spectrum by changing the amplitude of the individual harmonics. And this can be used as like a pseudo VCA or just for amplitude modulation. So when you run audio through this input here, you get audio out of these odd and even outputs right here. And even is normal to odd. Let's actually just go just even for a second. And let's hear them both together. That's the way I like it. So slide and focus parameters are your primary spectral modulators. By using the slide function, you can choose a fundamental frequency or your first harmonic, and the input signal will change in relation to whatever frequency that you select using the slide. And then you could help set the sensitivity by using this focus knob here. And the further you go with this focus knob, it starts to bring out and synthesize some harmonics in the spectra here. The further you go, things get a little washed out and even has like a little echo type effect. So that's cool. That gives you a raw perspective of just running raw sound in the Spectrofine and just messing with the slide and focus. But let's actually try a drum loop that I got and use something with a little bit more transients to excite this modulator more. All right, so I got the 404 plugged in. I got a bunch of drum breaks in there, a few samples as well. I got that plugged in through the Spectrofine and I'm also parallel processing it so you could hear the dry versus the wet. Let's actually create a new array or have the Spectrofine analyze the spectrum of this break. All you gotta do is just hit shift and array and it flashes. When it's flashing, it's reanalyzing and it creates the array. And it's important to note that these arrays are not sound recordings. They are just analyzations of the actual spectrum of the audio that you're running through it. So let's just hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Things get a lot more fun and interesting when you start self-patching the Spectrophon, taking advantage of the audio input and using that to modulate other parameters. And you can do that with using this sub slash CV follower output right here. You look at this LED, this LED is flashing based off the amplitude of this drum break. So we could use that envelope, send it around Spectrophon. So let's try it with the slide first. Pretty interesting results already. Let's actually molt this and send it around a few places. 
So now we could go to slide. I actually got the drums going through the QPOS. QPOS is a stereo quad peak filter. It's got all the multi-modes, low pass, band pass, high pass, and smile pass. I'm using the low pass just to add a little bit more transients. And then let's modulate using the CV follower out of the spectrophone and modulate the Q resonance on this Q pass. All of that's going out back into the spectrophone. So now, things already sound pretty cool. We could take it up a notch by actually tracking the pitch and sending a sequence to the pitch. So for that, I'm gonna use this no control. And I'm clocking everything through Pam. So let's see what it sounds like. It's pretty cool. So let's actually throw in the performer and add some real flair to this. So we're gonna take Spectrophone out, going into the ModBat Performer. So earlier I said that the Spectrophone is good for vocoding, and technically the Spectral Drums is sort of like a drum vocoding, so now let's do an actual vocoding with our voice. So let's turn up this index knob. You could hear what's happening, but you really have to be fine tuned and be really slight with your touch because as you're sliding through the spectra here, you're literally sliding through like over a thousand something spectra. So to find the right sweet spot when you're vocoding can be a little difficult. So just play with the knobs until you like what you hear. That's, that's cool, but I'm actually gonna take some waves out the XPO. So let's start with our very shape here. And let's run that into the FM bus on side A. Check, check, check. And if you're like getting a little bit lost and trying to tune it up, always try to turn your keyboard maybe an octave or two down from your fundamental pitch. All right, so I got a little vocal chop, whatever, recorded into the instrumental Lubda. Let's hear what that sounds like, dry noise. Making noise. So yeah, yeah nothing much, making, but let's no, run this through the Spectrophon now. Yeah, making noise. Making noise. Yeah, making noise. Let's turn my noise, dry voice down. Noise. Yeah, making noise. Making noise. Yeah. And now making, let's actually play with the tracking a little bit. Noise. Yeah, making noise. Making noise. Yeah, making noise. Making noise. Yeah, making noise. <laughs> Pretty cool. So let's actually bring some drums in and jam this out a little bit. And as does everything, this patch will sound really cool with some delay. And for that, I'm actually just gonna go into the mimeophone. Why not? Stick with the sound hack. Let's actually try Pulse With. I could play with this forever, but you guys get the point. Spectrophone is really all about running audio through it, experimenting with it until you get the best results. So let's try some guitar. I got my buddy John here who's usually behind the camera. He's gonna play a little bit of guitar and see what we come up with. So here's John's dry guitar. Let's bring up the wet signal going into the Spectrophone. Now it's important to note that we're not in amplitude modulation mode, we're in oscillation mode. Cool, let's turn John's dry guitar down. Now let's actually take an envelope follower from 
his guitar playing and run that in the slide. We're running through this QPOS filter here still. So also when you're in spectral array oscillation mode, your sub CV out turns into a sub and you can still use your sine wave out to also modulate. So let's do that. Let's send that to the frequency here. Now this sine wave is holding the pitch, which I didn't really even explain. I'm also tracking the pitch with the Disting EX pitch tracker mode. And it's definitely garnering some really cool results. So let's mess with the focus a little bit. Sweet. Now, I actually got a sine wave coming from STO going into the FM bus here. And let's use that. Add an extra bit of growl. And of course, throw on some reverb and some echo. Now let's just use our sub out just to blend it all in. Let's bring his dry signal up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But you see, you can, the possibilities are kind of endless with whatever audio you want to run into this wonderful module. All right, so we ran some drums through it. We heard the Spectrophon in amplitude modulation mode. Then we also did a vocoder patch, ran some guitar through it, all had interesting results. So we've barely dipped our toe into the vast sea of spectral synthesis. I would love to hear what you all plan to do with the Spectrophon or what you're already doing with the spectral oscillators that are already out there. Love to learn from you all as well. Definitely let us know in the comments below. And for more about the Spectrophon and all things modular, electronic, synth related, check us out at Reverb News. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm Fest Grandiose. I hope you're staying safe and keeping creating. Peace.